What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video and in today's video I thought I'd give you a 2022 Lego room tour. So basically I think I did one of these, it must have been a year ago now or it was definitely last year anyway and we basically, I'm going to go through it now and show you everything, see if things have changed, if not there's a lot of new people so you probably haven't seen it but yeah the Lego room's probably changed quite a bit. So we'll start off with the most boring side of the room which is probably like this side so over here we have got some alcohol we got the fish tank we've got all mainly non-lego things we've got some lego sets on top of the mini fridge we've got like kylo ren's shuttle first order tie fighter we've got a little one down there the tie is it the tri fighter is it i can't remember what that one is and then we've got our sith art that is not the sith art anymore then we've got grogu and the probe droid down there as well also on this side of the room we have got mainly boxes and things We've got some Funko Pops. Yes, I collect Funko Pops as well as Lego Star Wars. That's where I've got my money. And then under the sofa as well is where a lot, a lot of the boxes are. And then I think we'll go over to the TV. We've got the TV over this side of the room. We've got the Nintendo Switch hooked up to the TV, which me and George like to play Mario Kart against each other quite often. And then we've got Death Star, Epic, one of my favorite sets. We've got loads of sets on the TV stand from all the bus that I've got. We've got the UCS Tantive. We've got the A Wings. Lots of Starfighters. The Razor Crest. We've got a Millennium Falcon back here. We've got loads, loads of Lego sets under there. And they're getting a bit stacked up and a bit messy, to be honest. But that's what happens when you buy lots of Lego. And over here, we have got more Funko Pops. Just a few more. I haven't really got too many, but I've got, got a few. And we've got some books that we read some of george's books and got some lego sets We've got a lego city set down there that i got for georgia the first year we were dating then we've got yoda's hut the knights of ren shuttle darth vader's up here and then we've got the ucs a wing which is a really epic set then we've got all the anniversary figures from 20 years of Star Wars, which is pretty cool to be fair. Then we'll move on to this area. This is probably like the newest area. So since the last video, we've got a lot more pieces because we've been making mocks and things like that. So we've invested in these massive drawers. Obviously those are our old ones. Still being used to be honest, they're still useful, but they're not nowhere near as good as these bad boys. These are really, really good. And hopefully we'll get a couple more of these down the line. Then we've got the bonsai tree here. We went for the pink, why not? Everyone does green. And then we've got some sealed sets here. So this is from my birthday haul video. I still need to put those away. I've got two Republic Fighter tanks now after something stupid happened, but yeah, managed to get two of those. I think that's it. The, the, the probably the boringer side, more boring side of the room done. It's not just a Lego room, it's also like a chill out room for me and Georgia. So that's why this side of the room's not just Lego, if you know what I mean. It's not like an office either. It's more like a living room for me and Georgia. And then we'll go to the shelf, the modular shelf, or the mix and match shelf, should I say. It's got all our modulars and the police station, the diner, assembly square, Birch book. We've got a few Harry Potter sets we have here. We've got Hogwarts Castle. We've got Harry's house. Four Pivot Drive, which is a cool little set. You get Ron's car. And then up here, we've got the Mandalorian Starfighter. We've got the Imperial Shuttle. We've got a random Fiber First Walker. And then all this stuff is nothing to do with me or Georgia. It's just random, random books and stuff. We've got the dog's bed, obviously, the dog's got to have a bed in here. And then this is the mix and match Lego collection. This is basically my main, main bit of my collection. My favorite bit, to be honest, it's all my OG Lego Star Wars set from the 2008 ATT to the 2007 MTT, which is down there, which is one of my favorite sets. I've got a sand core, they've got General Grease Starfighter, which is absolutely skyrocketed in value because of the Airborne Trooper. A couple of the AATs, I think that is that the Mandalorian Forge down there. I think it is. Yes. <laughs> I think there's loads of. Then we've got the 2006 Boba Fett Starship, not Boba Fett Starship, the Slave One, Bad Batch Shuttle, a new set there. Anakin's Wire Wing. Oh, I've got loads of sets on that shelf. And on the top, we've got a couple of bigger ones. Like, oh, oh my <laughs> god, the 8080. Republic Gunship from 2008, half ATST from this year, First Order's Star Destroyer, Darth Vader's Castle. God, my memory's getting worse, but I'm getting there. Mando's N1 Starfighter, which honestly I have no idea where it's going to go because it's such a weird shape. <laughs> it's a really, really good set, but such a weird shape. And then the, it is on top. 
of one of my newest favorite sets, the Moss Isley's Cantina. My God, I love that set. It is, it is just epic. I really, really love it. And then last but not least, we'll move on to the windowsill. Yes, I know you shouldn't really keep your Lego on the windowsill. I, this window never gets any direct sunlight anyway. So hopefully, and by the time we move out, hopefully next year, we should be good. But on there, we've got some massive sets. We've got our latest modular, the Boutique Hotel. Really love that set. I think it just looks stunning. These modulars are getting better and better, in my opinion. And then we've got the Medieval Blacksmith. Love that set, with the idea set. And then we've got the Treehouse, which is just awesome, to be honest. I think maybe the bottom base could have been a bit more detailed, but overall, that set is epic and i think that pretty much covers it for the lego room for 2022 like i say not much has changed in the layout but there's been a lot more sets added lots more stuff added in general since the last video i hope you enjoyed it guys if you enjoyed the video guys please hit the like and subscribe button down below and subscribe for lots more lego star wars videos Every Monday and Friday, I upload and maybe a bonus video throughout the week, a short or something like that. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.